welcome back to the show. Now, if you were to type into Google the exact two words Indian artist, you're bound to be flooded with over 35 lakh 100,000 different options. Now, that's a lot of artists in this country. So, I'll make it simpler and take you to one of the artists in Chennai who put up his work for the city to see. It was an evening to remember for art lovers as Padma Shri Tota Tarani hosted a preview of his latest works. <laughs> Tota Tarani, a man of few words. His work is what speaks for him in addition to being an exceptional set designer and art director. He is also a remarkable artist. A preview of his latest work, the Christian series, was showcased at the Park Sheraton. Inspiration definitely Bible. What else inspiration you need? I mean, you see, you know, the Bible uh, uh, pictures or uh, but this Christ head basically the inspiration for me to my um, uh, from a childhood. I still remember there was an old Italian print in my uh, my puja rack. It was a Christ, and my dad used to always say we were hardly about four or five years old. And, so this one, when you go near, it'll look like as if it's closed, but the eyes are closed. But when you go far away, you feel that the eyes are open, you know, that kind, that is always haunting onto me. So, so every time I want to do so, I get this eyes in a, you know, it's a closed feel, totally, that's the thing. And also that we, we, we cannot really see how much of suffering the Christ had really taken. So we'll, if you feel that, then you can understand what the drawing is. Tarani believes in working on different subjects simultaneously as it helps in avoid getting trapped with just one theme. Inspired by the Bible, this series of paintings was a visual treat for all the art lovers who were present at the occasion. I would say that he has uh brought in a different kind of life uh, to the expression of Christ or Christianity. We had heard, we had read about it, but uh, I personally had never got emotionally connected. Now I am emotionally connected uh, via this medium of art to Christianity and the Christ. Tarani has been working on a series since the 1980s and has delved deep into the subject to learn its intricacies and to accurately express Christ and his suffering. It is true that art transcends the barrier of language and the forceful impact of his strong strokes and simplicity in expression is proof to that. Certainly art is a very powerful medium to express a lot of your feelings, to express your emotions and also to express what is happening during that era, during that time. Because greater artists like Picasso and many others who've, who we've studied and seen have shown us these kind of things, like one of the great works being the Guernica, which was about the Spanish War, has a lot to say about the current affairs of what has happened. And, to show people in the coming years that, okay, you were not there, so this is what it was for you. Tota Tarani says that he is satisfied with this series for this year. Art lovers will have to wait for the next year to see more of his works. Lovely. 
Earlier in the week, I visited the Palazzo Gallery where artist and curator Chitra Ragulan is doing her bit for the Malgali season. With fresh talent from Mumbai, what you're about to see is a confluence of music and paintworks that looks picture perfect, except it's painted by Dule born artist Deepak Patil. <laughs> Music builds the infinite between two souls. A famous quote by one of India's jewels, Rabindranath Tagore. Paying tribute to those who create that music is an artist, Deepak Patil, who has done something so special, it's close to perfection. Brush strokes of vivid colours and detailed nuances in black and white result in various Indian musicians framed lovingly for eternity. Recreating from pixels and onto canvas is no easy task. Yet Deepak has painstakingly brought to life Pandit Ravi Shankar, Ustad Bhari Ghulam Ali Khan, Amjad Ali Khan, Zakir Hussain, even Aryakudi Ramanuja Ayangar. Deepak's eye for detail is astonishing and his handiwork precise and near flawless. As I stood and watched one of his creations come to life, he shared with me how easy it is to let the brush dominate the work. My painting is subject of portrait and landscape. So, portrait is easy to make. But the reference is available, which we paint, is difficult. It is not good for the resolution, because these are old artists. ये अवेलेबल नहीं अभी सेटिंग के लिए या भी उसका ये अभी हाल ही में नहीं है फिलहाल में नहीं है तो उनका पोर्ट्रेट मैं फोटोग्राफ से कर सकता हूँ तो वो फोटोग्राफ अच्छी तरह से मुझे अवेलेबल हो तो उससे अच्छा पेंटिंग बनेगा बोल नहीं वहाँ तो उसके एजेस जो होते फीचर इस पे फेस पे वो अच्छी तरह से पेंट नहीं हो पाते तो उसको अच्छा होना जरूरी है तो अच्छा हुआ तो पेंटिंग अच्छा बन सकता है gathering of art lovers and a musician, Anil Srinivasan, opened up the exhibition. Not long after, Anil was already eyeing one of the portraits. No guesses to which one. My initial reaction was were they photographs because they actually look the one uh, of Aryagudi Ramanujayangar, which is there, and, and the one on Lalgudi Jayaraman, which is inside, and one is Ravi Shankar here. And uh, I thought that they were actually photographs. They're so fantastic. And I think it's very timely that uh, you know, this particular exhibition um, of a very talented artist, I would say, has been planned. Uh, I've always believed that you know we have to look at as many possible ways of taking classical music uh, to uh, to different communities, I would say, and it's not just the core group of uh, classical music listeners. If you love music and art, then this is one place to enjoy both at the same time. Capturing the emotions and the essence of each musician to the T, Deepak's paintbrush has had the effect of a magic wand on curator of Palazzo Chitra Ragulan. I actually planned this show um, uh, some months ago when I realized that nobody had done anything to show the musicians. It was my tribute to the uh, music festival which is happening here, all the lovely musicians. I had uh, thought of an artist from here, Madras, and who was not able to complete the work for me. So when I went to Bombay, I met uh, Deepak Patil there at Jahangir. He was having a show there. And I loved his work, and I bought one painting from him. And then I asked him, I said, uh, would you be able to do this for me? And then he said, yeah, why not? I will do it.
paintings you saw are on sale and from the looks of it, people are already placing their orders from musical art to art in words. Poetry by Prakriti is back this year and they have an eclectic blend of poets wooing the Chennai audience. According to the Greek philosopher Aristotle, poetry had three forms, epic, tragic and comic. These poets were testimony to that saying. Some say that a sultan here once lost a bet he made with a powerful jinn so that the cats are all human and the human here all cats. In its fourth year, Poetry with Prakriti features amateur poets who are so passionate about words, meters and rhythms. Encouraging these budding writers is Ranveer Shah, founder trustee of the organization. There is a special evening of theatre and music put together on Arun Kolakkar's Sarpa Satra, a Marathi poem. There is an entire night of poetry dedicated with music to tsunami victims on the beach and then after which whatever audience is left at five in the morning we're going to all have breakfast together. There is Klaus Ankerson who's visiting from Denmark who's a performance poet. years were mummies and literature lovers who applauded and guffawed at the dramatic reading of each poet. The topics of the poems were varied, from Facebook to the eternally engaging subject of love. Some poets conveyed what happens in their working lives, like Menika Shimdasani, who recited a piece called Stet. Computer processed in black and white, tucked away on the inside pages of a world you never made. Turn to the original, some submit to their marked state. A true poet is the poet's mind, as Emerson put it. With that thought, it was poetry connections that stole the show. Eight poets from India and Europe broke the language barrier as they interpreted each other's poems in their native languages of French, German, English, Tamil and Hindi. The performance was directed by Akshay Patak, the director of the uh, German box office. He has a uh, theatre background and so he brought that into, uh, into the project. the beginning, the Poetry Festival takes place all over the city at various times. No better way to commemorate this poetic story than by reciting one of the verses from Maya Angelou's Still I Rise. Just like moons, just like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes, springing high, still I rise. And with that, it's time to bid you farewell, but have a very, very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year, guys. Remember to send in your comments to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. Until next week, goodbye.